Hey, it's Bell Van Lu. Today I'm super excited to be able to show you a project that I've been working on for a number of weeks. I have been working on totally overhauling the look and feel of my workshop and I'm super excited to be able to share this with you. Over the course of three videos, I'll be showing you how I tore out the old uh, storage and things that were in the back wall of my workshop area, uh, how I rebuilt all of this with a brand new look and feel, and then finally a back workbench for my shop to hold benchtop tools and other things like that. So I hope you enjoy watching. Check out this video and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this. The first step in getting ready for this project was clearing off the back workbench that was in there and taking care of the back window that was in the back wall of my workshop. We had had a window air conditioning unit kind of set up in there before and in order to do that at all I had had to take out one pane of glass from this window frame which subsequently got lost and so there was just a temporary piece of curaplast in there. I decided that what I wanted to do for this was to basically tear out that window and put a window air conditioner unit in there installed properly and so I'm getting rid of all the stuff that's um, in the window and around the window. When it came time to actually take the window frame out though, I was a little bit stumped at first. I did a little Googling and I searched a little bit in terms of like investigating how the window frame was set into the stud wall that makes up the garage's back wall. But in the end, I realized that what would probably be easiest was just to very carefully, with gloves on and safety gear, very carefully take the old pane of glass out of the other side and then just knock this frame out because, like I said, the existing piece wasn't there anyway. The next step was essentially just creating a new piece of stud wall. So what I'm doing there is using some reclaimed lumber from pallets that I had reclaimed, and you'll see more about that later in the second part of this video series but basically recreating a new section of stud wall that would go in the place of the old window frame. So I rebuilt a new outer frame that would sit inside the opening from the old window frame. And I did that basically just by, by butt joining four pieces of lumber together and nailing those in place, and then getting the entire, um, the entire assembly ready to go in there. Sizing took just a little bit of fine tuning. And then I needed to also create a shelf for the AC unit to sit on. So I took a piece of uh, three quarter inch plywood and then just used the air conditioning unit itself to sort of size up exactly where it should go, how far it needed to sit back so that the vents for the unit were inside the wall and the, um, the outer part where the condenser sits was outside the wall. And I basically marked that out and then got that, that shelf screwed down into place before I added the actual uh, new section of stud wall into the old window frame. I also decided that I would use plywood for the front and back of this panel and in order to accommodate the air conditioning unit itself I needed to cut out some openings in both pieces of this. I cut two panels that were exactly the same and cut out the openings and quite honestly after the end of this process I got a little tired of shooting and I just wanted to get it done so essentially I put some rigid foam in there in the spaces put the plywood on the front and back and nailed the whole thing into place and uh, added the air conditioning unit in there. The next step of this project was getting rid of all of the extra stuff that was in the way. There were pieces that were literally stored in between the studs there. There was old plumbing that the previous owners of our house had had in there and lots of stuff on this pegboard wall that I knew I needed to get out of the way in order to get it ready for the next step. So here you can see me taking all of my tools down off of the pegboard wall. I don't know if this wall had ever been this bare in the time that we've lived in this house. So it was kind of an interesting sight to see it stripped down that bare. And once that was done, I could sort of turn my sights on the next part, which was ripping out this real hodgepodge of, <laughs> of wall material that was there. There was an old kitchen backsplash that was covering up part of the pegboard wall that you see me tearing out there. There was an old countertop, which formed sort of my only back workbench surface before that point. And getting that out was kind of interesting. The, it, the previous homeowner had sort of put this in and just attached it in whatever way seemed to work and keep it level. And I applaud their spirit, but getting it out there was kind of interesting. But here you can see me finally getting the last little bit of that tile board out of there. Um, 
the other thing I needed to do once that was done was to start getting this little shelf cleared out. There was sort of a makeshift shelf that was in between this cabinet with its lovely 60s floral pattern and the rest of the shelving in there. So step number one there was to just tear that out. And it was in there pretty securely. It was a pretty sturdy shelf on the top. The bottom was not so secure. You can see it's kind of all broken up there. And... Um, and then I needed to get the, the pieces of two by four off of the other side of that shelf as well. Then I could just move this cabinet out of the way and get ready for the next part of the demo. I realized that what I wanted to do with the right side of the back wall was to set it up so that the rightmost set of shelves would stay there, but would really be dedicated just to our family's camping gear. We do have to use the garage some still as storage, so I dedicated just that set of shelves to camping gear. But everything else, the Christmas decorations, the Christmas tree, boxes of stuff that were stored in there, all of that needed to go. And I'll be working over the next few months to find good storage places. Some of that's going to go into the rafters. Some of that's hopefully going to go into the basement. And some of it may just be gotten rid of. Once those were empty, I could then start taking apart the shelves like you see me doing here. And this was just a process of finding all the places they were secured. I had actually built this top set of shelves myself from some scrap pieces. So those are pretty easy to take apart. The bottom section was a little bit more difficult because this is something the previous homeowner had built. And really, when I started working in my workshop or in my garage, I really didn't change anything. And so I just sort of used what was there. And this was my, my chance to really tear this all out and sort of remake the space in terms of uh, what I wanted to have back there. I did take some care to try to uh, keep as much of this lumber in decent shape as possible because uh, as you'll see in later parts of this, I end up actually reusing some of this. Once that was out of the way, cabinet gets moved, space gets cleaned up, and it's ready for part two where I actually start to put all of this stuff together into the new look and feel. I hope you'll check out part two once it's ready, and when that is, I will link it right in here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to my YouTube channel, or check me out on Instagram, at Bill Van Lue.